Good afternoon, everybody. How are you doing? How's your lives? My name's John O'Casson. This is the Warm and Toasty Club online memory, memory afternoon. <laughs> Episode 90. We are 90 today. Started in March 2020 at the beginning of the lockdown. You remember them? Remember when we had lockdowns? Oh, they were great, weren't they? No. Um, this is our 90th show, and we're glad you're with us when you're with us in a moment or two. Coming up this afternoon, we have Special guest, live from Scotland, the wonderful Tom Houston. Houston or Houston? How do you prefer it? We'll find out when we get him on in a short while. A lovely singer and a chatter up amongst the best. Um, we have Tom and Jeanette joining us, of course, in a moment or two to launch the retro raffle. One question, one prize. One prize for the retro raffle. Um, we've got memory of the week. Got some music singing songings from Tom um, Houston. We've got TV Detective of the Week for our first time ever. No jingle, serious business. TV Detective of the Week. You can't be messing about with it. We've also got Jeanette's Poem of the Week, of course, and lots of other. I was going to say rubbish. <laughs> it's not rubbish. It's not rubbish, Jello. It's like high quality entertainment. Let me welcome Tom and Jeanette to the stage. Bring forth the entertainers. There they are. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi. Good here. <laughs> How Good are here you? In the middle. I'm well. How are you, Tom? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you very much. Oh, you've gone down in volume. Have you been adjusting yourself? Uh, no. Well, you I don't sure know. You've been adjusting yourself <laughs> in the downstairs department, Tom? Uh, Let me no. just bring. <laughs> Not yet. I'm going to go up. It's, early go in the show. it's a bit too early in the show for that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can't hear you so well. Um, um, yeah, I don't know. He was really loud a minute ago. I've yeah. frozen on this screen, so I don't know what's going on. Yeah, you've frozen on my screen. Yeah. <laughs> one second, one second. This is ridiculous. What are we like? What about <laughs> now? Any oh, you sound great now, but Jono's still frozen. Yeah. One second, one second. <laughs> Just hear him. You can hear him, but you can't. Yeah. Oh, there, oh, there you are. Is it a different camera? Oh, there he goes. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, well, that's really bright. Very that? bright. You've got a light on. Oh, oh, that's nice. That's better. Yeah, You've you got, got natural light. light on, Sorry, on your left yeah, I've got on one cheek because unlike you, I've got window at the side rather than the front. Oh, uh, yeah. I dream of having a window at the front. That's yeah, it's a big window as well, really big. Yeah. Unfortunately, the window would just not through to the kitchen. So it would be like... <laughs> My wife perhaps could pass me my dinner, actually. That could be quite good. A really big hatch, not a window. <laughs> yeah, a big hatch, a serving hatch. They used you, to have them. Do you remember in the old days in the house, yeah. you used to have the, the open the wooden doors, dinner would were they, Yeah, they were wooden ones, weren't they? Because some people that were posh would have sliding glass, maybe frosted glass. Well, I, I never knew a family that had sliding people. glass. You're too posh. That's I don't well. know if they were posh. <laughs> Maybe they couldn't afford oh, the lovely wooden doors. Yes, <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, you I'm know what like, I meant? Sorry, Tom, go I'm for it. Dumb waiter. Dumb waiter. Oh, because I'm upstairs. You see. Ah, oh, that would be nice. I'm upstairs. So have you got a bell that you ring, Tom? Yeah, I think I think I have somewhere. <laughs> and does Emma ignore it, or does she come in? And <laughs> well, of course, she ignores it. it. <laughs> I mean. <you> know, <laughs> I like your vision today, Tom. You've gone a bit kind of like 1970s TV detective vision. Well, I don't yeah. know. It, well, for something coming up later, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah. oh, oh I see what you did there. You know what I meant to ask you? Um, I meant to ask you recently. Do you like condiments? I've been thinking about this. Do you like condiments on your table? Like what ones are essential? What ones are your favourites? Salt and pepper. Always. Sort of in the mechanical you. things, the great big mills that you push the button on the top and with battery power and it grinds your salt and your pepper and has a little light underneath as well so it shines on your dinner so you can see where the salt and the pepper are going. 
Good grief. <laughs> no, no, honestly, my life has been different since I bought them. <laughs> not, not one of those. My, my brother did once buy us a pepper um, thing that you gr grind up, and it was no. absolutely massive. It was like, oh. Like was, in Italian restaurants. Like Italian <laughs> restaurant, but it was like... It was like a baseball bat. It was massive. <laughs> um, what do you have on your table, Tom? What well, I, do, I don't really have a lot. Well, I think we, you know, if we want some chutney or something like that, we bring stuff to the table. But I don't have anything particularly on the table. No, on the uh, table. But in the fridge, do you sometimes bring a bit of Dijon mustard or yeah, old grain mustard? Or we mustard. We have quite a lot of chutney. Chutney, like there was that. one from the, the Liddell, if you've heard of them. Um, they did one at Christmas. It was apple and pear with chilli. Oh, my God. It was to die for, to mm. die for. Well, Emma, Emma makes ours. She makes quite a lot of chutneys. Makes oh, does she? Yeah, so we have we have a really nice one that's grape and apple. Grape oh, I like from, it already. Grape from our grapevine and apple from next door's tree. So it's a very local part from all the other bits that you have to put in, like onions from Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> do, do next door know about the apples? Yes. Yeah. Do they get chutney in return? No. Oh, no. No, I do. Um, I cut her hedge. Oh, I like the whole. Your husband, not mine. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you've got to push a hedge. Yeah, I think you've got, <laughs> got the wrong thing there. I was careful about what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, no, they let me out. It's not a Monday release. Day release sorry. So a hedge in the front garden. You've already done it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I cry now. Um, <laughs> oh. Can we buy some in the future, Tom? Uh, I could sell it online, maybe. Yeah, Yeah, I want to try well, it. You just have some, actually. Yeah. I'll bring you a little part one time. And yeah. when she's doing it, when Emma's doing it, oh, I've, I've left my back warmer on. I'm really hot. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> I just realised, let me turn it off. I've got a bad back, so I put this warming thing on my back while I'm <laughs> sitting in my chair. I do that. Radiator. I do that in the car sometimes. Like, I press the button. For the seat warmer you've got a seat warmer yeah in my van Thank you, both oh my you. god passengers as well living the life and like all of a sudden you sort of feel oh it's very warm in here oh hello Ooh. <laughs> yeah i've like got a jacket on I'm, I'm, or whatever yeah. i'm aspiring is that what what's what women do they don't sweat they glow they we glow. merely glow yeah i'm doing that at the minute um <laughs> Oh, I want some chutney now to go with. Yeah. Uh, would you go with any sauces? Would you go with tomato or HP? Yeah, well, or? we um, we really like um, what's its name, Tip Tree. Tomato. Tip Tree's tomato. Mm. It depends what you're eating, though, doesn't it? it? It completely depends because if it's just chips, um, then probably ketchup. But if it was a bacon no, sandwich, mayonnaise, have brown sauce, mayonnaise and ketchup with chips. Yeah. Yeah, could do that. Mm, but I just have, certain mm, things. Mm, I don't know. I, I just had a big breakfast at the local cafe. Yeah. And um, I swap the, uh, I don't like hash browns very much, so I swap them for mushrooms. Yeah. And bacon and egg. And then you have a choice of tomatoes or baked beans. I'm not that keen on baked beans, but they're better than tomatoes. And I feel they come with their own sauce, don't they? They're in a tomato -y sauce. So therefore, I don't have an extra ketchup or brown sauce. I just use the sauce from the beans. Oh, you're cheaper, oh. aren't you? Yeah. No, but some people, no, it's just it'd be overkill on the tomatoes to have ketchup with that. And brown sauce would be wrong. With you don't put tomato, ketchup on your tomatoes, do you? I don't have tomatoes. I have baked beans instead. If I know that, <laughs> but I'm just right. saying you you wouldn't put extra tomato on your tomatoes if you had them. No, no. some people might, but I think you're right there, Tom. I've been having a reduced sugar and salt, but I've in the reduced last couple of weeks. Sorry, reduced flavour and fun. <laughs> yeah, true. But in the last couple of weeks, I've I've joined um, a club, the Fat Club. It's not a slimming one. It's just for people that are fat. And I've obviously joined it because I just, I like food too much. Yeah. And I've realised that I'm going to um, 
kill myself if I carry <laughs> on in this way. And I don't really want to do that. So, um, yeah, it ran out yesterday and I was thinking about, oh, do I buy another one? Uh, you know, the decisions yeah, that we right. make and the really important life decisions is do I buy another yeah. tomato sauce? And uh, at, at the moment I'm relenting. It's been a day. I'm, I'm a day clean um, of tomato sauce. I did have some of those fun free baked beans once when Lorraine and I were going to Slimming World a few years ago and we tried these, you know, low sugar, low fat, whatever, baked beans. They were awful. I'm not really that keen on baked beans anyway, but it's probably just the sugar in them that I like. And But to have them without sugar and salt, they were awful. We had to donate them <laughs> to a food bank or something. We just couldn't eat them. You see, we, we, I do our own baked beans. I make our own. Yes, you do. And they're much nicer than... Oh. Than Can I try some? Yeah. If what, you shape little make, beans? I make them. You shape yeah. beans like things out of peat of some sort of pulp stuff to you and then no, I just buy they... beans. I just oh, buy you just beans. beans. What beans are they in baked beans? Are they a dookie uh, beans? They, cannelloni no, they're, beans? They're, they're, cannellini? They're not cannellini, but I use cannellini. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, getting it all out I'm, today, I'm, people. I can't remember what they are. I should say hello to everyone. Christine, hi. It's nice to see you. Duncan, hi from North Korea. I don't know what he's up to in North Korea, but I hope it's he's good. moved from Spain, isn't he? <clears throat> he's on a world tour, maybe. Yeah, he was in Madrid last time. Karen, mm -hmm. hi. Nice to see you. Jean, she says she has English mustard, hot horseradish in fridge. Ooh, yeah, I like a bit of mustard. Horseradish, I'm a bit scared of. So good on you, Jean. Um, you're brave. Kim says hi. Hi, Kim. Hi to Duncan again. He says vodka for me, especially with my black pudding. There he is in North Korea. North Korea, He's Duncan. Russia already. He's moved. <laughs> He's on the edge, isn't he? He's on yeah. the edge of a nervous uh, lunchtime. Uh, Gene, you can get reduced salt marmite. Gene, why would you want to buy marmite in the first place? Yeah. That's what, I asked you. what? No, marmite's lovely. No. You're wrong again, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> oh, marmite, licorice, marzipan, you two. <laughs> you're wrong. Or every shade of wrong, you two. No, no, no. Yes. you're wrong. There's two of us, one of you. You're wrong. <laughs> yeah, but I speak for the general public, I think. No, no you don't. Marmite is I lovely. think you speak for the general you. Hi <laughs> <laughs> um, right to Brenda. Hi, Brenda. She says hi to us all. And Jean says it's haricot beans. There we go. There we go. Jean knows. Jean knows. He has mm -hmm. Perico beans. Yeah. Perico. Apart from the um, apart from the marmite thing, Jean, that's just yeah. wrong. Even with a George sort. <laughs> Sorry, but you know a lot. Brenda says I'm with you, Jeanette. Marmite, etc. Yeah. Um, bad. Uh, wrong side of the family. You know, <laughs> the black, black sheep, sheep of the family. Nobody apologising now for what you are because Brenda's right. <laughs> Christine and, says uh, we are right. Yeah. Jeanette. Yeah. yeah. Those people are barred in future weeks from coming on if they want to like Marmite. You've got to dislike Marmite to be on this show. Yeah, but this is the warm and toasty club. I mean, toast with Marmite. Oh, that, is, that should go to bed snack. No. Oh, you'd be oh. ill, wouldn't you? Oh, you'd so, 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 so wrong. Yeah. Um, yeah, Brenda thanks me. Thanks, bro, she says. Um, <laughs> shall we do the retro raffle? Yes. Yeah. With a jingle. It's the Retro Raffle, and it's coming to your screen. <laughs> it's the Retro Raffle, never has been seen. It's the Retro Raffle, and it's coming, it's coming to your screen. Oh yeah, it's coming, it's coming to your screen. Retro Raffle, Facebook Live. Yeah, yeah. Oh, now. I like that bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, because oh, I'm, I'm fat, oh, I'm a bit out of breath now. <laughs> Too much all in the belly. When you're sitting down, it's like all rises up. Back <laughs> on the feet. Done my time. Took my chances. Right. The retro raffle this week. I've not actually bought them yet, so I don't know what I'm thinking. But you get a prize if you get the question right and you want one of these sent to you. <laughs> Maybe I'll send you a picture on paper, <laughs> cut out a lollipop, and it will come apparent why we picked a lollipop when we get to Detective of the Week. But for now, the question for you to answer is Can you name three 
high street shops of the 60s and 70s, let's say, that have pushed the 80s that are no longer with us. Three high street shops that are no longer with us. Oh, and so off, so on and so forth. Looks like as good as last week's question, John. I think at the moment. Yeah, there's um. um. Oh, what do they call it in the cowboy films? When it yeah, it tumbleweed. Tumbleweed. Thank you. Can't think of it. Definitely silence. Free high street shops. Start with one. Oh, old Brenda's come on top. Job, Debenhams, Phoenix. Ooh, well done, Brenda. I'll send you a lollipop. I know your address. I thought there were ones that aren't around now, and apart from Debenhams, the other two still are, aren't they? Top shop's gone. That's Top online shop. only. Is it? Yeah. Oh, is yeah. it now? Uh, Phoenix. Are you sure? I was in Oxford Street on uh, the weekend. And, oh. um you wasn't paying attention when you went in that top shop. shop well, I came out the tube station opposite and I thought it was still there, but maybe I'm wrong. Perhaps they've just still got advertising on it. Uh, maybe. It's all no, gone I online. Know. I think it's by um, no. ASOS. ASOS. Um, Karen says Woolworths, good one. Ratners, That's that was the jewellery, wasn't it? Oh, and Mother yeah. Care. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mother Care. Was Rat Ratner's, that wasn't the one where the guy said all of our stuff's rubbish. I think he used the word crap. Yeah, yeah, he used that word. Yeah. What a thing to say, like, no wonder they're out of this. <laughs> oh, look at this one from Kim. Woolworths, Chelsea Girl, love that. Oh, yeah. And Pollard's. Pollard's, Super Pollard's love that one. Chelsea Girl, <laughs> I love the sound of that. Chelsea Girl, they were great. Here oh, comes Chelsea Girl, walking down the street so fancy free. <laughs> C and A says Brenda, she's trying to get an extra lollipop. You need more letters than that. Christine Freeman, Freeman's Hardy Willis, Freeman um, Hardy and Willis, Freeman sure Hardy I... and Willis, Richard yeah. Shops, yes, Richard and Shops. Jack Jacqueline's. I don't know Jacqueline. Maybe was that a tea room? Jacqueline's tea room. There was a, that's gone. Yeah. Do you know, I went to Jacqueline's Tea Room, oh, before pandemic, so it was probably about three or four years ago, and I had the best gluten-free, what they call it? Uh, not afternoon tea, the one where it's not sweet, it's savoury stuff. Oh, my God, they did gluten-free sausage rolls, the best ever, oh, ever, oh. and ever. Yeah, yeah. anyway. <laughs> Brenda says, perhaps Debenhams is still around in some places, not Norwich. Don't think it is, but it's not Colchester either. Hi to Ken Deleu. Hi, Ken. Do you know any uh, high street shops of the 60s and 70s that are no longer with us? That's what we're asking, to win a lollipop. If you've got the question right and you want a lollipop, oh, I'll go out and buy one. Was there a Send shop? Your address. Was there a shop called Lily and Skinner's? Yes, Lily and Skinner's. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, Some kind of like, hardware shop? Or... I don't know. I I'm thinking, it... first I thought it was tennis outfits, but that's Lily White's. Yeah, no, Lillian Skinner's. Was it actually? I'm picturing it, and it looked like boots. So maybe it was a chemist. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it could have been. Um, yes. Brenda's also adding Bieber. Yeah, that was that was kind of like oh, yeah, trendy clothes. Yeah, trendy stuff. Uh, Mister Byright says Ken. Oh, oh God, I remember yes. Gilbert I Road, Rumbelows, <laughs> where we used to rent our stuff from, and F J Wallace. I don't remember that one, but well done, Ken. Great choices. In Colchester, we used to have Evans and Evans. Farmers, and Farmers that were both ironmonger replaces. Ironmongers, they were great shops. Were they? Yeah, I remember Farmers. You used to have knives like outside. Half big a dozen knives. nine inch nails. Big knives outside. Yeah, in the window. Oh, in the window. It's illegal now, of course. Yeah. Um, Jean saying, excuse me, Woolworths, CNA, Leonard's shoe shops. Don't remember them, but I'll trust you, Jean. And she's also likely and Skinner with shoe shops. Is that Lily? Lily, Lily and Skinner. Oh, there was a shoe shop, were they? Yeah. What am I thinking of? It's like a chemist then. Chemists, uh, you've got uh, Lloyd's. It was Lily, Lily, Lily White. White. No, 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 White. no, but it, no that was that was sort of tennis gear, wasn't it? Was up, it? Up <laughs> Regent Street. Yeah, Lily White's. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Piccadilly yeah. Circus, isn't there a big one? Yeah, used to sell oh, like. Exactly. Just tennis clothing. I didn't know that. 
Yeah, I think it was a brand as well. Ken says FJ Wallace had a chain of supermarkets. Ooh. Who knew this? Well, I was missing out living in London and not seeing any of the FJ Wallace. There was a Mott's down Mersey Road, wasn't there? Oh, so. but that was Terry Mott's. That was a, a one man. So I was looking into that actually. And uh, well, his son, Andrew Mott's, um, Andy Mott's, he started, he changed his name to Andy Starr and started the Triangle Roller World in Colchester. And okay. um, I remember when that first opened, and Gary and I used to go roller skating there. And I was looking into it the other day for a work thing, and he sold it in 2017 um, to someone else. So Roller World is, uh, is no longer owned by the Motts family. But I mm. started looking at the Motts family and, and, like, you know, who Terry Motts is. And, and I remember his shop. It's now a co-op. Yeah. But he um, wasn't a chain or anything. He was just no, independent. I think um, one of the Mots lives in Castle Road. Really? Hmm. Oh, I think this, I think Andy lives in Frinton. Yeah, I don't think, well, it's not him. I think it's a no. woman. He's got a sister. Unless, yeah. unless Andy's a woman. No. <laughs> he could get. Um, that might be other ones have mentioned. Mother Care, Radio Rentals, said Karen. Yeah, good ones. Um, Radio Rentals, I think we definitely hired our TV from them. With 50p box on the on the side, if I remember <laughs> rightly, it could have been a 10p box. Um, Timothy White's Gene, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Timothy White's, Timothy White's. White's, yeah. Karen so says, Timothy B White, what did they do? What did Timothy White's do, Gene? Karen says, B Jam. Brenda says, We had a Safeway supermarket in the town. Ooh, Safeway, we had one. I had one in Camden, I used to shop at Fine Fair. Do you remember? What? They were a supermarket, what, Fine Fair. Who the one? And on the TV, Gordon Jackson did the adverts for them. And he was um, the boss in the professionals. Professionals. And he was also in um, Whiskey. Um, oh, what's it Whiskey called? Whiskey Galore. Whiskey Galore. I watched it last night oh, or the night uh, before. Oh. I yeah, love so it. He did the adverts for Fine Fair. And okay. there was one and before it was Fine Fair in Colchester, is when I was young at school, it was called Caters. And it was on the corner mm. near the Three Wise Monkeys, the corner mm. shop that might be, well, I don't know what it's called now, some kind of pound shop or I don't know, something like isn't that. Isn't it funny we've yes. shop? Is it funny we've shops how people remember them? Ken Sam Wells Music Store. Again, another one I don't know, but how people just go straight away. It's usually I really, people say, oh, I really miss Woolies, Woolworths. Yeah. That's the big one. Um, pick a mix which we'll code do actually let's lead it on let's do memory of the week because we're chatting away chatting away like good and memory 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 of the week so it might be the same it might not but the memory of the week was is what was your favorite sweets when you were a kid tell us join in get on the chat um I did like, I quite like midget, midget gems for a while, but my all time favorite was sweet peanuts. They were shaped like, you know, the shelled peanuts and they had little bits of peanut inside. Ooh, they were gorgeous, quite hard. And I lost about seven teeth over them, but it was <laughs> worth it. Tom, are you, was you a sweet fan back in the days? Remember what ones you liked? You must have done. Uh, yeah, yeah, any of them really, I think, probably. It's probably why I don't eat many, very many sweets now, I think. Um, but I quite used to quite like what are those flying saucer things with the sherbet? Quite like, oh, yeah, them. flying saucers, yeah. <laughs> they were just like paper, though, weren't they? They were, I just quite like sticking them to the top of your mouth. Mm, <laughs> hardcore, hardcore, Tom. <laughs> How about you, Jeanette? Well, I didn't have very many sweets when I was little. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Very poor, <laughs> as you know. <laughs> but I did them. <laughs> yes, sorry. Uh, this is why my teeth are so lovely now, because I didn't have sweets. But um, I do remember uh, Black Jacks and fruit salads that you could get Ooh, lots yes. of your old big penny. Yeah. Um, fruit, salad yeah. fruit salads. Yeah. Mm. Fruit salads, salads and blackjacks, yeah. You two with your licorice weirdos. Refreshers, drumsticks. But also refreshers, I really like not drumsticks, not the lollies, but the roll of sweets, all the different colours. That was that was really nice. Well, so, I, oh, what about what I'd love for Christmas it would be some um, bananas, sweet bananas, but with the chocolate on. 
Oh, they sound lovely. Oh, they uh, they were. In my memory, they were just the best, actually. They're probably higher than sweet peanuts. <laughs> you know you get the bananas, the soft, foamy bananas. Yeah. The ones with, with chocolate on. Oh, dreamboat cherry. Oh, <laughs> those, those bananas, they taste, well, oh, I don't know. They didn't really taste a lot like banana, did they? They, they taste a bit perfumey, a bit chemically. Yeah. But I'd yeah. still eat them. <laughs> oh, yeah. We ate violet, what is it, um, palm oh, violet? violets? Oh, lovely. They tasted like my my mum's pot pori. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> she used to substitute them. She used to substitute. <laughs> you remember that? People used to get a bit of pot pori on the stairs and they'd leave it there for years, like for years and, and years. Eat them like snacks. <laughs> yeah, little side snacks. Purple crisps. <laughs> Let me catch up on the comments because they're coming fast and furious. We'll be with you soon, Tom. Um, Gordon Jackson was in Upstairs and Downstairs. Oh, it yes. Good call, yes. Karen. Jean Butler. says, fine, fine. Also had Victor Values. They're shops rather than sweets. Oh, mm. um, fine, fair. Yeah, it might be fine, fair, but it could be fine, fine. It's where, you go to pay fine, fine <laughs> where you go to pay your parking ticket. <laughs> Which pay? I'll go over to Fine Fine. Um, Christine <laughs> says Lucking's Locks. Don't want to say that wrong after a few bevies. Um, Karen says Cote D or Cote D. Oh, Cote, Cote, Cote Dior. Dior. Sorry. Cote Dior. Cote Dior. Um, Is that a Pez. type of ice cream? Cote Dior. That's Gold. Type. It means it's Spanish, isn't it, Tom, for Golden Coast? It, uh, is it? Coast of gold. Yeah. Um, I think. No, I think you're right. I was just sort of... I don't oh, really know. Hang on, cart door is the ice cream. It's cart it? door, isn't cart it? Door. There was something that yeah. was wrong <laughs> with there, which I wasn't quite... I and and cart, <laughs> that's menu or map. I think it's French, isn't it, cart door? Where, oh, where? right. Oh, oh, yeah. Ah, yeah, and Karen's adding to it sweets. Pez, they were the ones that was in the little yes. kind of thing, yeah, that you had a head. Tim <laughs> says cough candy, white mice. Oh, yeah, white mice. Topic bar. Oh, is that what has a hazelnut in every bite? Topic. Yes. Oh, they were my favourites in the red wrapper. Yeah, they were Oh, good. yeah, they were good. Mm. Jean was Jean's going sherbet fountains with licorice. Oh, hold the licorice. Yes. Hold the licorice. Oh. Always used to take ah. the licorice out and throw it away and just oh, eat the sherbet. It was the best the bit. Best. Sherbet <laughs> on the finger. Yeah. A big, big thing in my house. Cough, cough candy twist, says Keith. Yes, that's a oh. good one. Um, they, and they sort of clear chest at the same time. Um, yeah. Christine says, I love sherbet dabs pear, and pear drops. Mm, good choices. Brenda likes the knobbly jelly buttons. They're all licorice all sorts. They're in licorice all sorts. Can buy them separate. Oh, oh no. Oh, the knobbly ones in licorice all sorts. They're the one I take out. They're, they're blue. Oh, pink, the knobbly they're, they're bobbly, they're oh, bobbly ones. Brenda. And they're aniseed jelly. Brenda. I don't like aniseed oh. and I don't like jelly. Brenda, you've disappointed the family with those. Oh, <laughs> dear. Never they're be invited around choice. again. <laughs> Sorry, Brent, I'm having a right about you. My sweet of choice out of my handbag at the moment. Can you see that? That looks, yeah, waterproof uh, um, <laughs> plasters. That is, packet of waterproof. Oh, <laughs> it's hair sugar drops. free pear sugar sweets. Free. They are like pear drops, but they're sugar free. And that's what I keep in my handbag. Oh, nice. So it's like a drink and a, and a sweet all at once. It's lovely. Lovely. So they sound very, very average. Um, Brenda <laughs> says sherbet dips with licorice. Oh, not you as well, Brenda. Oh, Brenda. Yeah. Marie says hi, everyone. Oh, sweets. I love the rainbow sour long ribbon. Still do. Uh, uh, get off, Jenna. Same, get off. Same, get off. Lots of sweets and all different flavours. And this is lovely. The sweets. You might have one now, actually. Um, oh no! <laughs> Please don't. So, oh, Jeanette, you're so bad to us. Marie loved the rainbow sour long ribbons. Oh, still do. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I remember them. Um, Jean was had predictive text issues. Um, Ken has a Toblerone. That's chocolate. That's chocolate. Is that a sweet, mm. Ken? Spangles. That's what I like. It. I remember Spangles. Yeah, I remember Spangles. Mm. Bubble, uh, bubbly bubble gum. Yeah, was there one called Mr. Something as well, Karen? I'm not sure. Oh, no. <clears throat> Werther's Sugar Free, says Brenda. 
Lovely. Living the life. <laughs> <laughs> what are you boys like wimps we are wimps, <laughs> we are wimps. <laughs> we've kept him waiting long enough we should invite our guest onto our, our stage to hear about his favorite old shops and his favorite sweets yeah. ladies and gentlemen can we get tom houston bring him forward here he is good <laughs> afternoon sir good afternoon sorry we got chatty and we did yeah forget. i i i've got a bone to pick with you oh is it about licorice well it's, no, it's uh, I, I've got I've got a series of uh, bad bad visits, imminent visits to the dentist coming up, and oh. that last ten minute of conversation has just got me quaking in my seat <laughs> here. Oh, I bet it has. It's, it's like I don't want to I don't want to think about it, but all these delightful childhood memories, you know, stick into oh. the gums. Sorry, Tom. Yeah, because you'd, you'd leave them in your in your teeth for a couple of hours, come back too late, didn't you? Ah, oh, God, yes. Just what, what about instead then? Old shops. Old shops. Well, I, I was thinking about that, and and I, I decided I'll, I'll go left field. Oh yeah, I like that's it. Not, yes. That's not the name of a shop, but <laughs> used to go. <laughs> what would you buy in left field? Oh, I'm just going down to left field. Oh, you probably yeah. buy a few of my albums, to be honest. There we go. Um, so up in the north of Scotland, uh, used to go there for holidays, and there was a, a place that was half um, grocery shop and half cafe, and it was called the Wildcat, and a pride of place was a stuffed wildcat in a, in a kind of glass box um so the wildcat and it's funny it's been bought over over the years by probably 20 different companies and the locals still even though it might be mccall's or safeways or fine fair or you know like little morrison's or whatever they still say i hope they keep the name the wildcat and it's probably the wildcat's probably still there somewhere in beside the cornflakes <laughs> So when, when they replace it, does it become like a Morrison's rather than the Wildcat? Yeah, they, they give it a makeover. So it's it's mm. never it's never been the same since it's you know, because it used to say Wildcat. And then I think the next one was Wild the, the, the slippery slope was when they called it Wildcat Stores. Oh and then <laughs> and then it it just you know it suddenly was you know morrison's local or or you know like and then and then inside it was the what well it was called the wildcat but outside you wouldn't have known yeah unless you were local and lived there for a while so yeah well, the wildcat up in gaelock in westeros uh, not really a chain sounds good I, I, I like the idea of the the stuffed cat in a glass box <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder where that is now. Um, yeah, um, it's not like the cornflakes. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Um, on the wall in the staff room, I like to think. Yeah, yeah. above the till. <clears throat> and thanks for all your comments, everybody. Um, <coughs> Polar cubes, jamboree bags, and Brian said imps. I don't remember them, but they vaguely <laughs> have a spot somewhere back in the in the mind. Tiny um, little licorice things. Oh, Jesus, yeah. Brian, you as well. <laughs> so, Tom, you're going to sing us a song, are you? Yeah, I decided I'd, I'd get my own back with this song that has a brutal ending. Thank that's, you. That's going to have you quaking in your seats or your heated seats. <laughs> it, it's called We Song. Oh. Well, i just go for it. Uh, we'll get out of your way. We'll let you do your thing on your own. On your own. Tom on Hoops, my own ladies song. and gentlemen. Out of the stillness, a movement is born. Say hello to the dance. Say hello to the song. Give thanks to the silence and the whisper and cry. Hold on to the moment and then give it back. Do you hear it calling? It doesn't last long. So close your eyes, I'll give you the song. 
You two can whisper and sing in the night Don't look for the ending till one comes in sight So I can't say it's magic, but it does cast the spell. We get something from nothing, it's that sort of well. You don't need a bucket, you don't need a rope. It starts with a ripple and ends with this note. I was ready. I was ready. <laughs> oh, that was lovely. That was a really nice song. Is that one of your own? Yeah, yeah. It's called We Song. We Song. I love it. I thought I'd heard that before. Was that on your album? No, nope. I think it's relatively new. Is it? Is it? Uh, have you been listening? Uh, well, uh, not of late. <laughs> <laughs> have you got my <laughs> flat bugged? I've been listening to you, <laughs> your your psychic energy. I believe has been ah, right, so it's, me. It's, it's got that feeling. It's a wee song that's been around for ages that John has heard before. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's got that kind of yeah lilt, the lilt of it. Yeah. Hey, tell me, how do you best pronounce your surname? Is it Houston or Houston? Houston. Houston. Yeah. Or well, somewhere near there. In yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot what I was going to say. That was well, lovely, wasn't that? Let's see if anybody's commenting. Yes, Brenda's applauding. Thank you, Brenda. And she's saying lovely. Karen says, love that song. Thank you. Free kisses, Tom. Oh, that's it. Oh, here we're back. Keep them, keep them coming. Keep the kisses I've been, coming. I've been starved of kisses there. Yeah, he needs them. He needs them bad. Applause for Marie. Lovely performance. Kim says, lovely song. Ken, her husband, he says, nice song. And I'm sure there'll be more to come. Can, um, can I interrupt and ask a question? Is that all right? Yeah, interrupt and ask a question. Please do. Okay. It's and not about sweets. Top, can, it's not about sweets. No, it's completely gone. Not, no sweets. <laughs> Black tongue, though, from liquid. Um, Tom, where yes. do you write your songs? Do you write them in the room we can see behind you on mm -hmm. that chair? Because that's a magnificent looking winged chair. Or your sofa or somewhere else? Do you have a particular place that you'd like to be to write songs? Is this a sneaky way of saying you want a wee tour of the flat? Oh, <laughs> I hadn't thought of that, but I do now. <laughs> <laughs> Your big long corridor flat with 12 I know, it's, it's, it's like wildcat stores. It's like, you know, you put stores and then and it's like the slippery slope. There. It's like, <laughs> if I tell you where I write my songs, it's the next thing is like, like, <laughs> John was listening in. You're anyway. So, um, th I, I suppose this room, because it's bigger, tends to get colder. So, if it's cozy, I tend to go to the cozy place. But I would say this room, um, is oh. is is the one, and there's the views out of it. Oh, 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 oh ready, please. Oh. see, wow. um, but, um yeah, I don't know what the question was. I've deviated. I've where, distracted. Do enough. you have a ten, do you have a place, a particular place where you sit to write music? Um, the next song, which I think I think you've got lots to have before it, was actually it was written on the couch, watching TV. But I'm <laughs> I'm, I'm not I'm not going to give any more away than that. Multitask. Ooh, teaser, teaser, love it. I, I've written all my no, most of my songs on the sofa. Right. But I think at least one sitting at the dining table, but that's all kind of one big room in my house. So sofa's a good place for songs. Yeah. But uh, people are different, aren't they? That chair looks magnificent. That that chair, I, I'm taking, but this chair, um, this one. 
Yeah. That I'm sitting in just now. That was my aunt Marjorie's, and it was it was originally from Shetland, and she she would um if she if she had a visitor in her house, she would make them sit in that chair, and she was able to gauge what kind of character they had <laughs> <laughs> from how they sit in the chair. Yeah, and and it was like yeah, um, I just want to just suss you out, sit in that chair, and it was like the the the, the kind of. The ancestors from Shetland would be checking them out as they sat in the chair. <laughs> Have you had that recovered? Because that looks immaculate. Aunt, Aunt Marjorie had it recovered. Oh. Um, She's got good taste. Very yeah, good. Yeah, well, she, 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 she did have, yeah. She, uh, you definitely do want to be noticed because there's a, there's a <laughs> table out there that comes from Shetland as well that was Aunt Marjorie's table. We're probably taking far too much. <laughs> no, that's okay. It's interesting stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's really good. I really like it. The little tour, the chair. Uh, yeah. and it, it, it just sit, made me sit here thinking, well, where do I write most of my songs? Most of them in the chair I'm sitting in. Um, all right. Certainly all the jingles we've done have been in this yeah. chair. But yeah. Sometimes you pop in the sitting room. And I like the idea we're going to get to it, but sometimes you put the telly on and something just sparks off and... Turn the telly off or pause it or turn the volume down. Yeah, we will. I, so looking, we yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I better get that one ready then because it's okay, a new one. All it's right, we'll pop off for a minute. That's oh. a lovely chat with you, Mr. Tom Houston. Thank we'll you. We'll be back with you in a minute. We send kisses. <laughs> we send hugs. See you in a minute, Tom. Uh, I should have mentioned also. I that's all right, asking questions. But there's always yeah. things that I'm so interested in these people. When they're in a... Well, he's in a different country, not a different part of our country. He's in Scotland, Scotland. You and are one. You're one of the hosts of the show, and you should ask questions. And I think it's great that you do. I've always got hundreds in my head. Yeah, you should. Rain. So, stop, Jono. I want to ask a question to Tom Houston <laughs> in that accent. Well, um, I don't get to talk to them off air like like um, Tom does, and and you do, and so it's like, oh, I only get to see them when they're actually on the show, and and I've always got so yeah, many. But they've, but they've asked for that, Jeanette. Yeah, <laughs> the restraining oh, order only yeah, on the yeah. show. Wandering around people's houses. <laughs> Do not give yeah. her my number, my email. <laughs> keep her off the socials, please. <laughs> keep her off my socials. We don't need that in our lives. Um, Chrissy also said great song, and Keith said great we song. Which is um, so now we've got another feature coming up: TV Detective of the Week. No jingle. There isn't time. Too busy. Sorry. <laughs> TV the, the album's made now. You've made an album of jingles. Of I've made, no made an album of jingles. I'm never going to make an album of jingles again. Actually, I'll put a link up. We've made an album of jingles, me and Jeanette, yeah. and um, we put it out. And well, you can, hardly you me. Can, I did one. <laughs> you can listen to it. You can download it for free. Or if you really like what we we do, you can donate and you know pay pay for it, and it'll go towards future works that we do. Um, it was just all the jingles we've done up to now. It's called uh, Warm and Toasty Jingles. Um, I wasn't meaning to get onto that, but we did. Jean says, that was a very good question, Jeanette. You're on fire today. So there you have oh, it. There you, you have Jean. it. Thank you very much. Yes, you are. Dude, well done. Well done. I, well, I'm going to... breakfast and licorice sweet. Gonna, I've got loads of questions brewing about the rest of his place, but I don't want to ask it because it might be you. <laughs> <laughs> TV Detective of the Week. First up, of course, we have Columbo. I'm just going to make it simple. <laughs> Columbo. <laughs> on a minute. Hang on. Stop, Jono. Stop, Jono. It's not Columbo. I've, I've ruined the surprise, haven't I? Love you, baby. <laughs> Love you, baby. It's beautiful. <laughs> Uh, he, and he did a song <laughs> called. I've got a picture of Peter oh, Falk in front of me. I've ruined the surprise. <laughs> First up is Telly Savalas as Kojak. <laughs> and he did a song, um, a disco song called Who's Loves Your Baby. And I watched it last night. <laughs> Known for, really, when you think of it, if you boil it down, lollipop, the phrase, Who Loves Your Baby? Loves your baby. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Tom, for getting that. His assistant, Stavros, um, was his real brother, George, in real life. Oh, yeah, and he had loads of hair, didn't he? He was completely different. Yeah, looking. completely different. I forgot about all the hair. 
Yeah. And the last fact, useless fact that I found, Queen Elizabeth II, our queen at the moment, is said to have loved the show avidly. Oh. Yeah, and she'd walk around the house saying, Tom, love your baby. baby. <laughs> <laughs> love your baby. <laughs> That's his little brother. That was when he was little, wasn't it? When telly. Um, That's how the Queen says it. <laughs> Love you, baby. So you know where we're going. TV Detective of the Week, Kojak versus, get it right in the timing department, <laughs> Columbo. A few words, a few words on Columbo. Old Mac, old car, always had a cigar on the go, um, and always came back saying... Just one more thing. Um, and the difference with a lot of the shows of the day, God, there was loads. My dad, and I used to watch them with my dad, and I loved sitting there watching it with my dad. Cannon, Ironside, The Streets of San Francisco. Ah. All, when I was a wee, wee lad. Um, and Columbo, the big difference was you saw who did the murder, you know, yeah. who was getting murdered, what happened. And then it was the whole process was him working it out, wasn't it? And he always talked about his wife, didn't he? That his he talked about his wife, wife, yeah. We never yeah. saw her. No. It wasn't I like was Borat, a... my wife. <laughs> <laughs> my wife. Um, my wife. <laughs> so I want you to ponder, use your imagination to go back to Kojak with Who Loves Your Baby and the lollipop. Um, right down. Or Just Columbo, twisted. who was old Mac. His Mac looks quite tidy there. It does. It does. Um, been apparently, the when they sorry, Tom looks like he's just had a wash. That man, he looks at it just to wash his hair, uh, does as well, doesn't it? It's very bouffant, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when they um, when they were doing the show first off and they were planning it, the 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 production company, the TV company, were really worried that people wouldn't take to him because he looked like a sort of tramp or a street hobo sort of thing. But it was a massive success. I, I don't have the figures, but. I remember watching Columbo because that went on for years and years where Kojak, I think, did about five series. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Um, <laughs> so vote Columbo there or the man with the baldy head, Kojak. Love you, baby. Thanks, Tom, for your timing. Your comic timing is there. Brenda says you can't beat Columbo. KGB says Columbo. Kojak for Karen. Columbo for Kim. Columbo for Jean, Columbo for Ken. We're getting a theme. <laughs> Loves your baby. Um, don't know what it's going to be. Um, keep them coming. Who would you vote for for the first ever on this show, TV Detective of the Week? And if you've got suggestions. And um, what was I going to ask you? I don't know. It's gone. Danzy says, Columbo, no competition. Brilliant. The early 70s episodes had women fainting, needing to have a lie down and drinking too much. That sounds a bit like my sort of afternoon. I was going to say, <laughs> narrow that down. Yeah, it's not just the women thing of the early eight, the 70s. Um, okay, Columbo's looking good for this. Um, let's ask Tom Houston. Let's get him back. I can see him drinking a, a wee dram there. That I'll, I'll bring him back to the screen. Three, two, one. Oh, he's drunk it. Tom, um, you're quite a young man, so you might not remember Kojak um, was an American TV detective series, likewise Columbo. If you had to pick one yourself and we needed uh, a vote to decide it, should it be a draw, who would you go with? Well, normally, you see, I sit on the, on the fence on this sort of thing, not trying to alienate people, but it's Columbo. Okay. He's, he's alienated at least two people, maybe one. Yeah. <clears throat> I like the answer that Wendy gives, Ironside. Oh. <laughs> she's not giving the answer. She's making a suggestion. I know you are, Wendy. I appreciate that. And do make your suggestions if you like them. Like I say, Streets of San Francisco, Canon, Quincy, you probably could put him in, even though he did autopsies. We'd probably allow him in because he did a bit of detective work. Rockford Files. Rockford Files. Yeah. <clears throat> I've got them on an email. Heart, heart. Didn't heart, they always... heart. Yeah, a heart bit 80s. Yeah, that's oh, I not know. bad. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, heart to heart. It wasn't that good, was it? <laughs> you think about it. I liked it. 
<laughs> um, I, like, two... I like their yeah, house but, man. But you like Marmite, don't you? I, mean, I do, and licorice. Yeah. <laughs> not together. Not heart to heart, not good. Hawaii Five O. <laughs> Cannon yeah. with William Comrade. Hawaii Five O. Mm. Starsky oh, and Hutch. Man. Charlie's Angels. The Sweeney, Van der Volk. McLeod. Oh, they did a new series of Van der Volk. Yes, I saw that. Really good. It was good. a bit dark, wasn't it? Yeah. It was dark, but I liked it. I liked the music from it. That was the Simon Park Orchestra, mm. wasn't it? The original. Police thing. Woman. Yeah. Professionals, as you mentioned before. Tom, we're taking up your lovely airtime. Um, no, that's okay. So I don't need to do the second song. Is that right? <laughs> no, you oh, yeah. do. Thanks <laughs> been with us. Don't need a second or a third. See you later. <laughs> See you. We better check. Jeanette, have you got anything to ask Tom about his, um, his accommodation? I've been embarrassed. No, oh, yeah. no, we're just per up. perfectly fine. Yeah. That, and that, yeah, so I was um, actually asking about his songwriting. You were. That was me. <laughs> you it made was it me all that, about looking at his, his house. Yeah, not that you weren't interested. I mean, yeah. speaking about John over there. Oh, um, well, I'm yeah, I'm sitting here wondering about the picture behind you. I'm wondering if it's um, some dogs playing pool or something like that. God, like <laughs> it's. It's. It was painted by my my mum. She she did uh, street scenes of oh, of uh, Glasgow. Wow. So this is street wow. scenes, Glasgow. It's uh, they've been okay. drinking a bit much. You can see it twisting yeah. a bit when there. Did like you that. do that. So don't before you go away from that wall. What's on the other side? <laughs> it's like a sculpture. No, that, that that's extra for from that other side. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> when did your mum paint that? Kind of uh, that would be in the sixties, probably. Wow, have you got many of her paintings? Yeah, I've got a, a, a few, a few dotting about. Um, Very talented lady. Yeah, there's uh, this one is. Oh, oh yeah. It's a, it's a oh. that that's a that's a, the house there that we used to stay when we called in at the Wildcat. Oh <laughs> wow. <clears throat> it's all come around full circle. Excellent. It's got full circle, yes. Oh, this is, like, this is like an episode of Who Lives in a House Like This? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tom Who? Right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and you've met you've met the family, you've met Aunt Marjorie, and you've met my mum. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. a real social occasion. Yeah. <laughs> We'll be having a look in at your wallet in a minute, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry to get so in, um personal. Um so you're going to do a song that you were sitting on the t sitting watching TV. Yeah, it's it's like I got so many places I could go with the intro for this. Um, so something that you, do you do you have a keep fit um, section in the warm and toasty club? Yeah, it's it's, it's something yeah. that Jeanette uses. I don't know about Tom, but I haven't used it for quite a few years. But yeah, we keep so it available. The, so that I'd, I'd like all the listeners to try uh just they're probably sitting down but you you three I, i'll pick jono um as as my again but can you practice if you're just sitting there in silence for a minute can you manage to f can you can you find your knees like yes just mentally don't don't just like you got your knees can you float above them this is the advanced move can you manage to float above your knees? Yes. Yeah, good. So in the second verse, mm. I want you to try that move. Um, yeah. And then we, we could have everyone doing it at the same time. And then I'll, we'll be a wee instrumental section where we can all float above our knees. Should we stay on screen? Um, just as you are. <laughs> <laughs> no, do, we, do you want this? Do we give you the screen and we'll just do yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, do whatever you want. Okay, um, we'll do that. Having having said all that, it's an experiment. Mm. Yeah, it'd be much better live because um, it's a brand new song called "Dining by Myself." Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, okay. oh, I, and it, and it, it's got a tricky rhythm, and I don't know if I'm going to do this properly. But second verse, you're all going to help me out. Okay, um, we'll be we'll be willing you on. Yeah, and lastly, it's, it's also yeah. it's all packed into the second verse. Have you had a memory of the week about places to dance, local dance halls? No. We um we were going to cover that next week, but no, um, no, we well, haven't passed. 
so in Glasgow, there was a, a place called Volcano and another place called The Shack and another place called Tiffany's. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, and, and the, the volcano actually featured in train spotting. It's all happening here. It's going don't, on here. Don't forget your moves. Yeah, we're no. coming back. It, all right. In our minds, we go above our knees. Yeah, you float. Okay. okay. Check it out. Second okay. verse, everybody, get above your knees in your mind and enjoy Tom Houston. Okay, so this is Dining by Myself, and it's um, here we go. You grab hold of the menu and ask me if I am from Glasgow. Order a dirty cocktail and a burrito. I like dining by myself, but something in your eyes caught me in a spell, and now here I am telling you all I know. You walk up to the jukebox and cry out Remember these echoes of Volcano, the shack And Tiffany I like dancing by myself But something in your groove It caught me in a move And now here I am Floating Come on, everyone. You pause for a moment and ask me what happens next. We could drive to Mexico. That would be a fun ending to the verse. I like writing by myself But I guess there's nothing wrong In letting go of the song And seeing where it ends up By itself Head up to the rooftop and whisper, let's begin the show as the moon and the stars flicker dance over Glasgow. I like dining by myself, but when the northern lights take over the night, here I am. Asking you, please don't go. Hey, I like it. I think if you cross between a cuckoo and a dove, or a, a wild pigeon, yeah, I think it's. I think it's got that. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, really catchy yeah yeah, yeah. it's kind of it's and, like, and did everybody float <laughs> i was trying to yeah, yeah I, was it, I, th up. I think it's i think that it's, it's really this is quite for an advanced audience that that, that kind of you get into the, the the kind of pigeon chorus yes and you're yeah. trying to follow the lyrics and you're dancing at the same time it's 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 quite it's quite a quite an advanced Listening, it's kind of, it's kind of like stage. Pick the wrong three, people it? here, haven't you? <laughs> no, I, I think <laughs> I didn't want to say that, Tom. No, I know, but, but, but I just said it for I'm glad you. you. I'm glad you said it. Yeah, I'm just saying it for you. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah. So, well, thank thanks for trying that. I I I, I could see my phone lift. Yeah. Above. Yeah. Well, I found I found it really good, but the only thing is my knees were also raising. But luckily, oh. I've got a desk in front of me, and they were stopping. It was stopping me going too high. 
So it was really good. I couldn't control the knees is often a phrase <laughs> I've used in the past. I, 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 it's good feedback that because I, I probably need to spend five minutes on knee control. Knee control. Before, before we move on to the, the floating. Exactly, because, you know, there's so many gradients of knee control that we need to discuss. You know, if you're on level three already, Tom, we've got to watch out because this is yeah. stuff. This is dangerous stuff, you know. It, I, I think I need to, I need to go cautiously. <laughs> health and safety, I think. What's that, Tom, Tom? Health and safety. You need to think. Yeah, health and safety. You need, and safety. You I, think mean, I, I, need, I need to get people to sign a disclaimer before I do that, Simon. Imagine, you know, you've got, gone to a big venue. Everybody starts floating up a bit in the air. I know. Yeah, I know the marks on the ceiling that we we yeah. can't be we can't be responsible for any marks on your ceiling caused by floating above by Tom's song. Yeah, uh, well, it, we don't. You know, I'd be saying something like, "I'm not trying to bring the house down, but you're going to get closer to the roof." Well, you're lifting our spirits up, aren't you? After all, yeah. Um, <laughs> Keith says, "Love it, Tom." He doesn't Thank say anything about his knees, but he loved it. <laughs> Karen says another fab his song. Knees like Jeanette. <laughs> Pardon? Are his knees all right? <laughs> I don't know. That's not possible. It doesn't possibly come in. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'll shout. Keith, are your knees all right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Your yeah. knees are all right. Yeah. Karen says another fab song. Thank you. Great voice. Free kisses. Just saying. Um, Kim says, very nice song, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Um, any claims? Um, we're not the people you would claim against. You would claim against <laughs> Tom Houston if your <laughs> knee situation has uh, incurred an injury. Of any you, that that wasn't in the small print in the contract. <laughs> no, that's why we gave you a broad broad brush contract that you signed. Because we are wasn't very that oh, right. the last contract we talked about. <laughs> Tom will take personal responsibility for any knee problems as a yeah. result. Yeah, yeah. If, if you've got them, he'll come around and he'll sing to you, go, 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 till you're happy again, which obviously wouldn't take long because it's a lovely song. Yeah. Tom, we'll get you back in a minute or two. We're just going to do a little ting -a -ling -a and we'll see you shortly, sir. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, mate. That's the lovely Tom Houston with a lovely song. Um, Love you, baby. <laughs> I don't think you can even, every time you do that, it's not a vote for Kojak, Tom. Loves your baby. <laughs> Isn't it? I, I, well, I prefer, Still want to make him win. Oh, you got to, now every week, if we do a thing like this, you've got to find a catchphrase. Um, yeah, yeah, I did look for the Columbo one. It's sort of a bit, he changes it a bit, didn't he? Uh, know, just one time. more thing. Yeah. Oh, I can't do his, I can't do his accent. <laughs> no, that was stupid to even try. Um, we pass <laughs> over to that too. We pass over to Jeanette now for our um, announcement of the TV Detective of the Week. Uh, the winner is, not surprisingly, Columbo. Columbo! There he is, Peter Falk himself, the late Peter Falk. Um, well done, Columbo. We didn't know what was going to happen. Be my favorite too. Would he be your favourite? Yeah, you as well. I think he'd probably, yes, he'd probably have to be. Yeah. I'll be honest, I had forgotten a little bit about Kojak and had to do some research to remind myself. Um, I would normally share and put it on screen the video that he did for the disco song for Who Loves Your Baby, but we'd get stopped for copyright issues. Uh, yeah. Somebody, I, somebody I knew for years and years thought his name was Terry Savalas. Oh, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> and, no, and nobody would let on and because it was all quite funny. <laughs> you just get calling on. Terry Terry Savannah <laughs> for years and years and years. Well, oh, I wonder uh, there is a character on Phone Jack uh, in recent, more recent years, um, called Terry Tibbs, who looked a bit like Kojak. Maybe he took a, a leaf out of your friend's book. Yeah, maybe. Talk to me, sell me. Um, <laughs> yeah, there you go, Columbo, our first TD. <clears throat> can't get my words out. TV detective of the week. We'll be back with more next week, no doubt. Um, I mentioned the jingles. I put a, I put a link up. Our jingles, warm and toasted jingles. If you want to get it, it's free to download. And you can pay for it if you want to. If you do, the money will go towards the work of the club. And while we're here, and just before we pause for the next item, just to say, if you have any comments, um, 
any feedback on what we're doing. If what we do makes a difference to you, it helps you, it makes you laugh, it's just a nice afternoon show, or it impacts you in any way. What's that, Tom? Keeps your jingles warm and toasty. Keeps your jingles warm and toasty. <laughs> if do leave a comment because we're starting. This is like a new project now. Um, it's the same to you, but to um, others, it's the start of the year for January. We're and we're we're capturing feedback of what people who watch the show and listen to the show think. So do put a comment down um, below or send us an email at the warm and toasty club at gmail.com. I hope you don't mind. We'll we'll um, ask you a few times, but it's important for us to capture the information simply because we can't be with you, though we will be with you starting. Uh, where are we starting? On the 14th, we are back in person um, this month. Yes, 14th, Valentine's Day at Shrub End Social Centre at two o'clock. But just for listening, if you enjoy what we do or you don't enjoy what we do, please leave a comment and let us know. We really enjoy to get your feedback, please. Thank you kindly. Um, now, Poem of the Week. It's Poem of the Week. It's sometimes short and sweet. It's Poem of the Week. It's always man in feet. I should get tired of that, but I don't. <laughs> I quite like having a jingle. It's a new thing to me. Well, so we've been having lots of fun today. And um, on a slightly more serious note, I'm going to read a, a, quite an emotional poem. And this is one that I've chosen this week because I've been thinking about my mum a lot, um, my late mother, uh, quite a lot. And then people talk about their parents and then lovely Tom talking about his mum and her beautiful art. And I miss my mum terribly, but this, this poem kind of struck a chord. It's not about the love for your mum, but bits of it really ring true for me. So it's called Butterfly Kisses by John F. Connor. Don't cry for me. Please don't be sad. Hold on to the memories of the times we both had. Don't dwell on dark thoughts. Hold on tight to your wishes, sending you hugs and butterfly kisses. I walk beside you. I'm there all day long. I'm right here, but you think I am gone. You don't see me, but I can see you. Whatever the problems, I will help get you through. I am the wind in your hair and sand in your toes, butterfly kisses that you feel on your nose. I am with you at sunrise and in sunset, but you can't see me is my one regret. I sit right beside you when you are sad, as you look through the photos of times we both had. I watch you sleeping. I hold you so tight. Before I go, I kiss you goodnight. I will watch over you from heaven above. Forever you will be my one true love. Hold on to your dreams and all your wishes, sending you hugs and butterfly kisses. That was Butterfly Kisses by John F. Connor. I hope you like that and didn't make you feel too sad. But there's people I miss, especially my mummy. That was lovely, Jeanette. No, it was really poignant and actually rung a bell with me because the last few weeks, I mean, I always think of my mum, um, but I've been thinking more about my dad. Um, just through a family conversation, dad come up. Mm -hmm. I think I shared something the other day on the socials, but um, no, it's lovely. Lovely, really nice. Um, yes. fun next week. <laughs> Maybe. You see, um, Danzy says Columbo is on Channel Twenty One Freeview every Sunday. People, I call it Colum Day. Ah, Channel Twenty One on Freeview, so you should must be able to get that if you don't already. Christine says, "Great as usual, Jeanette." Karen says, "Oh wow, what a poem! Thank you." Wendy says, "Read so beautifully." Thank you very much. And Kim says, "True words are beautifully read, Jeanette." All true, all true. Just beautiful him. poems. Out there. There's lots and lots of them. I, I recommend that people just search poetry and read some every day. There's something for every day. It's lovely. Remind yeah. me who did that one? Who wrote that one? That was uh, John F. Connor, and it was called Butterfly Kisses. It's just, it's just really weird how things happen, don't they? And, and so many things have happened in the last two or three weeks where it just keep, things just keep making me think about my mum. And, you know, she comes up in conversations with people. And, and my sister, had, we've got a photograph in our lounge of her. And she, my sister brought it forward on the shelf. And I don't know why, but I noticed it straight away. 
just yeah. everything's kind of making me think about my mum at the moment. So, you know, I don't know what goes on if she's up there kind of thinking about me or looking down or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, she that. is. Oh. That's, that, oh, um, that's my mum. Gosh, she looks so happy. Uh, how do I do it? That's my dad with my sister oh. Brenda behind him. Oh, how lovely. <clears throat> They're always close to nice. me. I always think of them. Sorry, I'm talking loud into the mic now. I was putting the thing back. Um, Ken says, nice poem, Jeanette. Christine said, it's my dad's anniversary of his parting today. Oh. Sorry for your loss, Christine. Um, um, gets gets easier, doesn't it? But then every now and then it will just creep up and just when you're not expecting it and you'll have a little tear. So. I, think, um, I think the old adage for me personally is that people used to say time makes it better. I, I don't think time makes it better at all. I just think it makes it different and you like well, I, said, I find it easier i do yeah. find it easy it gets easier but you get more used to it don't you <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah there was a long good. while it was for quite a while i couldn't look at pictures of my late parents um because it made mm. me too sad i'm able to now and i'm able to talk about it and um also i shared something the other day which i felt that um I've I looked on my dad and I hope that I've taken the best of what he gave me to be a man um, because mm. he, he, he was a sort of gentleman and he was a he was a funny man but he didn't tell you how to live your life he sort of like you you watched him and I think his example was what I took the best of him made the best of me I hope but That's I'm nice. saying that because I start getting emotional now <laughs> <laughs> It's the warm and teary club. <laughs> yeah, it's the sad and weary club. Let's welcome back Tom Houston. Um, he's sitting there pondering life's existence. There he is. Hi, Tom. How you are? Um, Tom, thanks for being with us. What what have you got going on um, in your music life? Have you got anything <clears throat> coming up? Have you got sort of some of these new songs? Are you are you putting them into recordings? And yeah, the, there's. Um, I've got. Th actually three or four projects on the go i'm doing a an album of songs uh, over in northern ireland uh, mm -hmm. which i've uh, i've got there's 13 songs and they're with the producer and he's adding bass and drums uh, that o over you know over the next few weeks and then we're going to look at other bits and then I'm going to go back to do the final vocals. I've been over to, to wow. play down the song. So that there's that. I'm doing another project with uh, Neil McCall in London, which will be a bit of a hy hybrid, um, and maybe a mini mini CD. And we've already just starting that. I might do some recording here and then some at his place. And then I've got a few uh, collaborations on the go one of which will be coming out as a single in uh, march but uh, there's another couple on the go as well so wow, you are busy yeah uh what what i kind of uh am now looking for is uh, you know some live gigs but it's um we're in this strange bit of a hybrid at the moment but um yeah, yeah. they start to pick up aren't they yeah so yeah things are Things are brewing. And when they've brewed, where would people find them? On your Tom Houston site or Yeah, I I um just get that. Can I tell you I, just between me and you, John, and Jeanette and Tom as well, but just to be secret, so just confidence. Yes. I do have a website, but if truth sold, I haven't really sold anything on it of, mm. of late. Mm. And and they, I did look at it and I thought I can I and the, and the, the it came up for a new one. I said, I can't justify paying for this. <laughs> anyway, I phoned up the, the, the person and they gave me a, an, a, a, a large discount. So I've now, tomhouston.org is still there. The shop has not closed, like <laughs> Woolworths and Fine Fair and Jeanette Little, whatever they were called. <laughs> and it's open for another three years, my wee shop. I've got it. I can see the, so, the uh, gloves. The, uh... And if, if anyone goes on there and contacts me, I'll give them a discount. I'll give them a warm and toasty discount. There you go. You don't get it offer every day. And I've put the, the address up if people want to go there. It's yeah. well, well, well worth chucking. Check, chucking. It's well worth chucking his music. Well, worth checking out his music. Not it well is well <laughs> not chucking it, keeping it, selling it. 
Uh, yes, buying it. Yes. So tomhusen.org, that's where you go straight to me. And uh, traffic is low enough that I can give you the personal contact if you get in touch and we can do a deal or not. Or not. Well, I must admit, I've bought from there. I didn't get a blooming discount, of course, but it was very nice. I was very pleased with what I You didn't I mention Warm and Toasty Club. I know I didn't. Yeah. I didn't know who I was. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, it's a pleasure having you on the show. I'm glad you got stuff coming out because that's really heartwarming to hear because um, what you do is enriching and I love listening to your music and we're going to listen to it again. I'm going to get out of the way. I'm not going to ask you anything about it. Tom and Jeanette too. We're going to just say for the last time this afternoon, the wonderful Tom Houston. Thank you. So I wasn't sure what to, to play here, but I was, um, I'm going to, I'm going to continue the, the vibe of the conversation. Um, and the poem by Jeanette and um, the, the this uh, anyway this song is called Alexandra staying and uh, it's it's like are they are they leaving are they staying what what's going on here Alexandra stay, they're not going to leave. I heard them this morning when I took round the key. We talked of the weather, the warmth and the breeze, a thin veil of satin which sing in the tree. Alexandra is staying, they have nowhere to go. They went down to the river, and the river said, No, I don't last forever. My water is low. Best not abandon the home, you know. Alexander is staying despite saying goodbye. We can visit them later with our voices and wine. I've left the door open for those wanting to cry. Hello, Alexandra, is that you waiting inside? Alexandra is staying, she's not going to leave. I heard her calling, so I went round to see. We sat in the garden, then walked to the trees. That's where we found his boy. Thank you, Tom. That was just absolutely gorgeous and very, um, very apt for the discussions we were having. Um, just really beautiful. Yeah, very poignant. Lovely yeah. song, Tom. You got all serious and reflective on us, and I'm glad you did. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Really. Lovely. Look forward to hearing that one recorded. Um, Karen says, "Thank you, Tom. Love it. Great lyrics." 
Um, Keith says something, but I can't see it. He probably put a smiley face or something like that. I hope it's a good face that he's put on there uh, in the comments. Um, uh, Danzy says, love that glimpse of your dad, John. I relate to your comments. I also feel, feel very close to who my dad was, his morals and values. Thank you. Um, Kim uh, Ken says, true words, Jono. That was before the lovely Tom was singing. And uh, Ken says, nice song. Kim says, thank you, Tom. Lovely song. Thank you. Um, it's great having you on the show, Tom. It's always a treasure and a real pleasure. Oh, that's a rhyme. I could have been a poet and I didn't know it. Um, yeah, sorry. KGB, K Keith did say, lovely song. Um What's your plans coming up now? So you've got some records coming out. Um, you're working on the Northern Ireland project and you've got a few different things, but are you going to go and lie down in a darkened room now? When you say no, no, I'm going to have a bit of toast. I'm going to have a bit of, oh. a bit of, a bit of toast. Of war. I'm going to make it. It's going to be warm and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to have on it. Um, and is that is it just like literally the next 15 minutes? Yeah, literally. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to have a That's bit it. of toast. That's, That's it. it. That's all you're getting. That's all we need. That's that future writ large there. Tom's going to have some toast, everybody. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Congratulations. Um, thanks for being on our show, Tom. It's a pleasure. We'll have you back again soon. Um, and good luck in all you do, sir. Yeah, well, thank you. And it's been it's been a pleasure. And I've really enjoyed the, the, the opening up of the Warm and Toasty Club through the the last couple of years we've had it's been a real pleasure so may you continue being warm and toasty thank you very much and thanks for the tour of your home as well yeah yeah and um <laughs> and i I'm, i've got um some knee rehabilitation classes <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah we look yeah give us the dates and we'll send them out <laughs> okay i right, have a great one kisses okay all the best Kisses. Bye, Tom. Bye, Tom. Butterfly kisses. Bye, <laughs> Bye, Tom. See you next time. Tom. You. Lovely job. Oh, he's so lovely. Really lovely. Really, that was really he has such time. a dry sense of humour and he keeps a straight face nearly all the time. <laughs> when he laughs, it's just lovely. I know. It was very dry humour. Um, thank you, guys, says Karen. You've cheered me up. I absolutely love your show. Oh. Um Christine says, thank you for another afternoon of fun and laughter. I so look forward to Fridays. Thanks for the nice comments. It's good if you leave us comments because um, we'd like to hear the feedback because we can't always talk to you and ring you up on the phone. We do to some people. Thanks for being with us. We are back. We're back again next week. Um, and then we might be going um, fortnightly. We're going to see. We'll talk to you more about that. But we're going to be back next Friday, I believe. Is that right, Tom and Jeanette? Yes. I think I'm just going to look on the calendar look right on now. The calendar. It's, it's just loading. Here the next Friday. You, you will be here. You, Tom, has decided he's going to be here. Yes. Yes. Well, gonna... Yes. Hang on. Yes. Might... yes. Well, I don't know about that. You're going a bit mad now. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Making you feel wanted and loved. Yes, we love Tom Hardy. Yeah, I just um, think you're taking. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Tom. Oh, I've Jeanette, we'll talk about him. we we'll talk so about him. He made me feel sadder than I was. Yeah, we we'll talk about him actually <laughs> being on, Jeanette. We we'll have to replay him. You've done to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, next week, we're back with Tom and Jeanette and me, Jono, and Marina Florence, uh, who's going to lead us out of a warm and toasty song in the end credits. She'll be singing live three songs next week. So join us on the 11th of um, February. It's hard to know. Very close to Valentine's Day, just saying. Well, we are Very doing an in-person Valentine's Day on the 14th of February. I know, I know. Um. I hope you booked your evenings, not your days to come. That's at Shrub End Social Centre. Um, I booked. <laughs> got nothing booked? Not for Valentine's. No, it's a Monday. It's tricky. I'm going to work. That's what okay. I'm doing, working on code. Well, that's, uh, yeah, it's understandable. But whatever you like do out there over no, the next week, we hope you're good. <laughs> yes, this is our one. Warm and toasty club's not working. This, this is, is our one. You'll find it is. Yes. <laughs> Um, have a great week all thanks for being with us it's a pleasure being in your company as it is in for me being in the company of tom and jeanette 
and Tom Houston, of course. We will see you next week at one o'clock. Until then, have a fabulous week. Bye bye for now. Bye bye. We've all got a tale to tell. Times were not always so. But putting it all aside, we made it through by and by. It's warm and toasty in here. Share our laughter, sometimes tears. You'll be welcome with a cup of tea. And a biscuit, maybe two or three. Wrapped in a little white cloth. Cooking for hours in the old iron pot. There's a jam roly poly for tea. Enough for you and dad and grandma and me. What did we like the most? Fish paste sandwich or peas on toast? Nothing could come close. The bubble and squeak the day after.